Hi guys, today I'd like to talk with you about motors and generators. And um, you have a motor lab that begins on page 64. And the first question that's posed there is, what's the difference between a motor and a generator? And um, we have these little hand crank devices. And the way it works is, I just turn the handle and hopefully you can see that it generates electricity and lights the light bulb. Um, I can take the same hand crank device and attach it to a battery or two batteries in this case. I don't have a good connection. There we go. Um, and the electrical energy provided by the battery, it causes that hand crank to turn. So it converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy. So um, in this case, this is a motor. A motor takes electrical energy and turns it into mechanical energy that can then be used to do work. A generator takes mechanical energy and converts it to electrical energy. And in this case, the electrical energy is used to um, light the light bulb. But they're really the same thing. So how do they work? Well, um, electric motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy by um, using force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. And it's not just a wire, but a coil of wire. Um, and so this is a model of a motor. I'm just gonna turn it so you can see it. I think I just broke it. There we go. And so this little sign just kind of indicates the direction of the magnetic field. I have a couple of post-it notes on here uh, that show the direction of the current in the different parts of the wire. So we can use the right hand rule to determine the direction of the force. So fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, that's up, thumb in the direction of current. So since this is an X, the current would be going into the coil of wire that way which would produce a force on this coil of wire in this direction, and it would cause it to spin counterclockwise from your perspective. Um, up here at the top, we have a dot, which means the current would flow toward you. Magnetic field is up, so my fingers are up. That would cause a force on the top of the wire toward me. So a motor, an electric motor, just uses force on a current carrying coil of wire to produce mag, uh, mechanical energy. Um, there's a neat little memory device that I learned from uh, Ms. Calloway. And she says, if you can remember MEM, motors uh, convert electrical energy to mechanical energy and Generators convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. So generator takes mechanical and turns it to electrical. So MEM, M-E-M, motor, electrical, mechanical, uh, GME, generator, mechanical to electrical. Um, I wanted to point out uh, the diagram on page 66. So this is a diagram of a simple electric motor. Uh, there's a battery providing the current. The current flows through these metal supports um, and through into the armature or the coil of wire. And you have several diagrams that look like this. Oh, this is the magnet that's providing the magnetic field. 
You have several diagrams that look like this and it asks you to indicate the direction of the current. And so for that, you need to view it like you're viewing my model. So uh, this really is a cross section of this coil of wire. So the top dot represents the cross section of the wire like I have marked here with my post-it note. And so in this case, the current would be toward you and on the bottom, it would be away from you. You would represent this on the diagram with a dot on top and an X on the bottom. So the first diagram farthest to the left actually matches my um, model. And so we said, if the magnetic field is directed up, my fingers get directed up, thumb in the direction of current, which is toward you. So the top part of this coil would be pushed to the left. The bottom part of the coil would experience a force to the right, thumb in the direction of current away from you, fingers in the direction of magnetic field. So that would produce a counterclockwise rotation. Once uh, the second picture is showing a diagram that looks like this. Um, if we use our right hand rule on the left side of the coil, current is toward you, magnetic field is up, it would produce a force in, like toward the center of the circle. Um, likewise, on this side, the um, current is away from you, magnetic field up. So this coil would just get squeezed in, it wouldn't produce a torque or a rotation. So there would be minimum torque in this position. Uh, let's see if I can get it to, okay. So this is the third example. Oh, my model is falling apart. Um, and in this case, on the bottom, we would see a force to the left, on the top, a force to the right, that would produce a clockwise rotation. And then finally, here, we would have a force out to the right, on the right side, and a force to the left, which would cause forces uh, both out on this coil. Again, minimum torque, because this scenario would not produce rotation.